Hey guys, and welcome back to World Series Not Included, Clear's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and for the past couple of episodes, we have been investing in the rocket technology over here and expanding our technology, learning how to fire things out to further and further areas in the star map. Oh, look, we could, uh... We can go ahead and analyze this object over here. We currently have a rocket out on a grand adventure. This is our big research rocket. Last time we figured out how to get enough fuel tanks underneath it to send it out to the far reaches of space. It is currently out. And whilst we... Ooh, that doesn't look great. And whilst we are in the process of doing uh, doing that, collecting enough uh, researchers to come down to here and replenish off the whole research tree. Well, actually, we've got a few things back here to work on as well. But whilst we're doing that, I have two things, two things that I want to work on today. One of them is right down at our hotel. You can see that we have got an extra space up here all ready and waiting to go. I think I want to... Uh copy out another hotel floor here. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to be part of this great hall. They're just going to have to have a little mess hall themselves. The other thing I want to do is back up the top. We are getting an awful lot of regolith and uh, copper and stuff like that all down here. And I want to start using this. I want to start using all these materials that we are building up. And I'm going to do that making a shovel farm on the side over here. Jelly is very helpfully coming along to lend assistance to his fellow rocketeer over here. I really do need to maybe put another gantry coming across the other way so it's not quite so far to travel. How much did we manage to put in there? That was almost all of it that we needed. I'm not sure exactly how much he needs. It says destination beyond reach. I kind of disagree, but okay. Yeah, it still says it's too far for that rocket. Crazy, crazy. Oh, it's 1.6 grams, not kilograms. Grams, not kilograms. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, Jelly, you've gone and dropped, like, over a ton's worth of oxalite just on the floor here. I'm afraid we can't allow that. If I go so uh, solid oxidize a fuel tank and then tell Jelly to just stay where he is, is he going to pick it up? No, he's not. Who who's going to be doing this, then? Who's going to be doing this, then? Oh, mis misaligned is. All right, good good work. Good work. Oh, Jelly went to get some more. Okay, fair enough. Not quite what I was after, but it'll do it. I think it's actually going to mean that we managed to fill this fuel tank. Oh, no, he's got. he's decided that's enough. That, that was good enough. We need to turn this back down to a nine before he leaves. Hopefully the doors are now opening. Yes, they are. All right, beautiful. Uh, uh, good luck on your mission, Mr. Greg Williams. Hopefully this will all work out well for you. Come on, let's open these doors. These do tend to take a while to happen here. I'm mostly interested to see what happens to these ladders. I had to put them in to uh, try and save us from the meteors that were falling down because they were uh, the bunker doors have been destroyed. I've got a feeling everything else is going to be fine. Oh, it's a new day as the rocket's launching. That big old safe spike. And yes, we get to watch it go. But what happened down here? Oh, they're fine. They don't care. Oh, all right. Fine. <laughs> But as well as rockets coming down here, you can see that I have put in most of the orders for this to go and get done. I'm just waiting for these ladders to be taken out so I can copy the lavatories across. And of course, we need to put another abyssalite tile in because we had farm tiles across here, so I didn't quite get to that. I also feel like I want to move these tiles out of the way, turn this into some more airflow. I am horrified at the number of airflow tiles that are not made of copper over here. I'm going to have to go around and replace all of them, I think. Copper, of course, being the material that gives you bonuses to decor and if it's not copper then it means that the airflow tiles are in fact draining decor it's it's not a winner to be honest it is not a winner oh even the doors even the doors need replacing all of them are iron right oh uh, uh, no <laughs> This is definitely a move that is going to take a cycle or two to get completed. I've taken all the doors down and now I want to replace them with copper ones. Thank you. Orders are down. Might take a while. <laughs> This, of course, means that I have ended up with excess of living space. If anybody out there is not currently one of the duplicates in here, which, you know, statistically, some of you guys watching that out there can't be all of these guys. There's like twice the number of people watching than we have duplicates in there. So if you want to be exposed to the horrors that is living inside this here asteroid base, do give me a shout in the comments. I I'm always looking for new names to call the duplicates. People things for people to get attached to, you know? 
Oh, miss. Oh, miss, you seem to be stuck. Ah, so I've put a little bit of uh, automation here to try and stop this happening. But I think what has happened here is that miss has got stuck, well, yeah, whilst whilst the meteors were coming down. Okay, let's uh, destroy that bit of automation wire there. Let's see if she'll go and do that. Hopefully so. All right, away she goes. A little bit, a bit burny there, a bit burny. I think we'll be okay. Why is she taking so long? Come, come on, miss. I, I need you to come over here so we can hit open. Uh, and then you can just wander your way out there. All right, beautiful. Get, get, go, go, be, go be safe. Go be safe. I was wondering if we could fix this with a filter gate, but I'm thinking that's a bad idea. What we actually need is some sort of pressure plate on the inside. So if a duplicate comes along, it provides an on signal. Maybe we want like an ore here. Yeah, maybe, maybe. We got a duplicate motion sensor. We'll build that out of iron. Thank you very much. And it should only really affect this outside when the door is closed. We'll uh, bust this back for now. Uh, I want to have an automation or gate here. And actually, look at the way the wires line up. Let's cancel all these uh, destruction orders. Let's, in fact, split this one open. Then putting down the or gate should mean that most of the time uh the all right if there's any trouble there, there's the one if the asteroids are coming down this red wire uh, this wire will be red uh turning the door off uh the only time this will be green is if there's a duplicate outside so if a duplicate is trying to run back uh, and i think i would have to do it by actually giving them the order to run back they should come down and through i'm wondering whether we want the filter gate on here as well you know what let's let's do it it doesn't cost it well i mean it does cost us some extra but it doesn't doesn't cost us that much trouble filter gate only there's a green signal through if the input has received a green signal for longer than the selected filter time exactly what i want thank you i don't know if that's actually going to make any difference but i would like this all to be built pretty 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 soon if possible and still no rockets back where are they where are they 73 percent cargo run 43 percent uh 43 percent research run Hmm. Okay, we're gonna filter this for I don't know for ah oh, no I've just realised this is the wrong way. We need a buffer gate here. We need a buffer gate here uh, because we're not sending a green signal to say there's asteroids here, are we? No, we're sending a red signal to say there's asteroids here. Um, okay, that, that's fine. We need a, a buffer gate, and that will basically work in in the opposite way. It will keep hold of the green signal uh, after the asteroids arrive, giving people time to get out. I, I understand this also means giving people time to come in, but I, I don't want to mess around with a duplicate checkpoint, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, it's the proper way to do it, and we will get to it at some point, but for now, I'm just going to go with the buffer gate. Okay, mostly the roof is being put together. Also, we've got some lavatories in place. That's nice, that's nice. I'm going to have to take these uh, ladders out that I was using to fix the roof. This one's going to be a little bit awkward. I'm not sure whether I just want to wipe this place out or build some ladders up. I'm sure that there are uh, bonuses and uh, pros and cons to both. That's the words I'm looking for there. But I think we're just going to do it like this. I might even take this uh, this little one out here and do that. That should that should then make everything all fine here. Okay, Space Scanner is telling us the Wandering Beauty is on its way back. The Wandering Beauty 14, I do apologize. Space mission is complete. Come on, let's have, the, let's have this down. The reason that we are trying to get the uh, cargo hold, cargo mission going over is because we are after a new material. The new material being Niobium. All right, cool. Watch all this regular lift get destroyed it's great we're gonna have to get a little system for uh trying to empty all this area out as well i was thinking we'd have an auto miner here but what watching the way ooh, egg shaped rock watching the way the um the engine destroys the regolith all the time i don't think we need that i actually don't think we need that look at the carbon dioxide that got spat out 2000 degrees though <sighs> that be hot I wonder if we can... I really want to harness that. 2,000 degrees sounds like I want to keep a pool of molten, molten metal underneath to just keep keep the heat, heat heat dumped into. Yeah, I think that would be great. Not sure, not sure how, but that would be great. And instantly, this guy is ready to go away. I mean, it's, it wasn't instant, but it was pretty quick. I wasn't um, thinking about this egg-shaped rock here. It doesn't appear to have a temperature associated with it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Are we still melting materials here? That would be cool. What 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 temperature does the gold melt at? A thousand degrees. We, to we totally could. We totally could. <laughs> anyway, we've got a pedestal for the egg-shaped rock. We're going to pop it down here. Egg-shaped rock. Beautiful, beautiful. I've also been moving some more of this wiring around so that we can... Uh, feel like we're doing a good thing with this. I've, uh, this was coming down and across and powering this down here. Uh, obviously, we need to use it to power this system over this way. So, uh, yeah, that, that's why I needed to rearrange all of that. What am I making this out of? Maybe, maybe we need to make it copper rather than... Hmm, yes. 
Got to get as many decor bonuses as possible for my duplicates, and that includes making the wiring out of certain materials. I, I'm not sure why I hadn't thought about doing this beforehand, but uh, here we are doing it now. Okay, so why all this focus on Niobium with the petrol rockets and stuff? Well, let me take you over here and show you why. So I've got a, an auto sweeper over here. It is made out of steel. If I open it up, you can see that we're overheat at a temperature of 275. If I have a look at some of this regolith up here, it's like 250 and trust me it can get hotter than that hot enough to indeed break my gas pump over here 275 it went over it got too hot so if i want to sweep up all this material on the floor here i can't really use one of these because i'll pop it down and then some of the uh, regolith will fall down and before this guy can uh, cut it all out it will overheat now obviously i can be using the petroleum line up here to cool it down and i will be doing that as well no i won't no i won't because it doesn't have ah uh, is this guy just getting hotter? I've taken the bottom out of here without thinking about it, and uh, he's now... Yeah, he's at 24, where everything else is at minus. Let's just pop that back, and we'll get some petroleum back there. And that's why I can't cool down the auto-sweepers, because I want to have them just kind of floating here. In fact, I want to have it one over here, so its range includes these two droppers on the side. About like that, and as you can see, it has no way of venting itself. There's no way of getting a material close by to act as a transfer medium. So it's going to just have to live there. I've made it out of steel, despite everything I just said. I've just made it out of steel. Now, this is going to be a system that we have to put together piece by piece, unfortunately, uh, because we just don't have that much niobium. Now, things like these iron dispensers, they can just kind of live underneath here. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to... Well, in fact, we are very much going to need another power line going through, so I'm going to have to build another one of these units underneath uh, running a little bit tight of space here now trying to uh, to jump over all of this is going to be interesting Hmm, maybe at some point we'll we'll come up here and do a complete reconfiguration of this power spline because wow it's uh it's busy oh the research rocket came back i didn't even hit well, I, I wish they gave a little bit more notification about that let's go on down here and see yes we've got some research underway beautiful it is a lot of skill points we need of course the last research of the combustion uh fuel line yeah something like that uh is it takes 800 we've got 366 i've got a feeling we've still not even got enough uh, 100 200 two 270 uh, so let's say that no we're, we're not even gonna get close we're gonna end up at i don't know 600 of course this means we need to send that rocket back out so let's come on over here i believe forrest uh, he is assigned he is inside let's go into the star map and have a look we're waiting for the fuel to happen okay it's a good job that we actually didn't let him go back to the same one can we click on that one are we going to be able to get there i don't know we're just going to leave the destination set and if he disappears well then we know Okay, mark the time. I've just gone through and turned almost everything on the map down to a priority five. It was getting a little overwhelming. There was a lot of stuff up on nine that really didn't need to be. So I have, apart from a few things, like I say, like these power cables, turned everything back down to five. Took a big, big old wide shot and, and went for it. Now things like this uh, oxidizer tank have been completely forgotten about. I wonder how I put that up without putting it up how do i how do i make it more important just in the base or does this actually mean i need more duplicates going around making deliveries and of course immediately i'm annoyed at them walking through these closed doors and then nobody actually doing the job so let's uh, let's turn these up to nine <laughs> i got a feeling that's not actually going to encourage anyone to do it because nobody's got that particular skill prioritized in their own oh, oh there we go there we go who's this jelly jelly is on it good work man he only did that that one level though Hmm. I promise, I promise, it's just until all the doors are open, and then, then we'll put them back down to five. Okay, 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 that's all the doors, that's all the doors, back down, nice. What did I miss? Ah, this, this guy here. Okay, I got myself a shove uh, holding cell down here, and I uh, said last time that we were going to go check out the Gravitas building, didn't I? I've started putting in some bunker tiles, waiting for people to come along and do uh, those. I don't think this has even been delivered to yet. No, it's not. But people, as soon as breakfast is done, will be on it, or at least after they've done the first job of whatever their first job of the day is. Man, Frank, for instance, has come along to build a uh, conductive wire bridge. 
The wire bridge, of course, to hook up our new power system, which I brought up through the uh, center of the power transformers, seemed to work out well. So that's given us another power spline to be working off. That's going to be powering uh, the workings of the holding cell as well as the uh, regolith passing system. Uh, I've also got a little dropping off point for metals here, uh, but it's dropping down the bottom here, and I don't think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put a conveyor loader there. But the next thing I want to do is to come down to the molecular forge. You might remember a little while ago I tried to make some vis go gel well this time it should actually work and i think i'm gonna need four maybe more we'll find out Ooh, ooh, a shove vol egg beautiful that's that's almost exact there's a load of them there's a load of them that's exactly what i need if we could get them into here that would be great how do we make sure that happens let's put some super high priority but you um, essentially worthless blocks behind here just to make sure it gets put in place Right, hopefully the way I've built this will mean that these shove vol eggs get pushed up to the top here. Yep, beautiful. And then I've asked them to build kind of from the top down. And this should pop everything out into this space here, hopefully. If if this game deals with confined items in the way I think it does. Oh no. Oh th no, no, no. Uh, how do I how do I stop them doing that? Uh, Luna is currently trying to sweep up. What what is it she's sweeping up and placing in there? It must be the mafic rock. Let's cancel that sweep. Oh man, that was that was terrible. Regolith? I'm sure that all right, I should have cancelled that as well. Oh no. I'm gonna cancel the build. It looked far too much like it was gonna get built before the others uh, and I, I wasn't about that I, I really really want to get those eggs in quite simply this should be it now okay here we go here we go I did try to get another block built in the meantime but it's not really got into place let's see what happens here has it dropped out behind missile line I think so shove vol egg right at the bottom there beautiful we got three of them that's great that's that's really good actually We've got an incubation of 63 and 5%. Okay, I wonder if there's any more out there. So one of the things I've been warned about is that they can um, puke up a little bit of the regolith up on this tile here. And I'm wondering if we move the robo miner down one, whether it will go up there. Also, I've made it out of lead. I should I should definitely deconstruct this and build it out of something better. Overheat temperature of 55. Yeah, no, no, this, this is totally not what we need. Oh no, oh no, we, we've had a leak, we've had a leak. Okay, that that's not a big problem, we just gotta double wall it. That's um unexpected, that is very unexpected. How are we gonna get through here? Mm, there are troubles in this in this job, but uh, it's, it's not, not unsurmountable. Okay, there's a whole bunch of orders that should hopefully fix this problem. Okay, it took a little while to make it, but I can confirm that when I place a robot miner here, it can indeed mine this block right here, which will stop anything sort of gumming up here. That'd be that'd be amazing. All right, great. Oh, I was looking around. Oh, it's gone now. Look, we, we're getting some red lines appear, and also uh, small piles of naphtha lying about. Mm, I wonder if these two things are related in any way. Uh, I've been uh, digging my way in slowly, but surely here comes Miss to unlock another bit. I think we can probably just go for it now. Let, let, let's just go and see what's going on. Do we uh, we open that? Let's wait for someone to come along. I mean, surely it's on it's on auto anyway. Surely, surely. Ah, oh, nighttime's been called. I was kind of expecting people to come along and make the bunker tiles behind me. They are in a kind of high uh, priority. Not much has got a higher priority on the map, so I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Oh, the uh, cargo rocket has left. That's great. That's great. Again, I wish they gave us a notification for that. He's on his way back to the carbon asteroid to pick up more niobium and isoresin. That's what we're after. And he is several days through it. Just under one day, in fact. Just under one day. There's a bit of a visual glitch where all these fuel tanks are full, but the uh, the display doesn't show that they are. That's a uh, big shame. Big shame. The uh, solid fuel tank, on the other hand, 43 ki kilograms. It's going to take a while. The problem is this guy keeps running out of power. Okay, we have access to the lobby. Hold on there, miss. I need you to come back. We're going to go uh, over this way. Let's see what's going on. If you could come along. So let's have a look. We've got we've got a lobby chair, a coffee table, a couch. I can't get anyone to interact with it. Uh, there is a, an inspect here. The display is still functional. I copy its message into my database. Okay, let's see that entry. Brought to you by the Gravitas facility. Pan pending. All right, hold hold up. Hold, hold up there, miss. Okay, let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's give her something to dig up while we uh we look at the rest let's slow oh we are we are right down at the slow uh okay electronic display i'm guessing is the same entry oh have 
Introducing the latest 3D printing technology, the Gravitas Home Printing Pod. We're proud to announce that pr printing advancements developed here in the Gravitas facility will soon bring bio-organic bio production capabilities to your old home printers. What does that mean for the average household? Dinner frustrations are a thing of the past. Simply select any of the pod's 5,398 pre-programmed recipes and voila! Delicious pot roast ready in only 0.87 seconds. What? All of them are pot roast. All, all eight. Select any one of them and you get pot roast. That's what I heard there. Prefer the patent pended family recipe? Program your own custom meal template for any instant taste of home. Or good old school and or go old school and create fresh delicious ingredients and prepare your own home cooked meal. Dinner time has never been easier. Project for commercial availability next year brought to you by the Gravitas facility. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. What about this electronic display over here? Bring the mining operations in the 23rd century with new Gravitas personal excavators. Improved particle condensers reduce raw volume for more efficient product shipping, and that's good for your bottom line. License for industrial use only. Resale of Gravitas equipment may carry a fine of up to $200,000 under the Global Restorations Act. Brought to you by the Gravitas, uh, by the Gravitas facility. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. We can inspect the desk. All I find on the machine is a curt email from a disgruntled employee to all from redacted whoever is in st uh, whoever is stealing the glitter pens off my desk. Consider this your last warning. XOXOXO redacted. Okay, cool. Angry. So I can't use the broken ele broken elevator. That that is great shames. That's great shames. I can't get up to the well, I mean I can read the desk. Isn't it crazy how I, the disembodied ghost being, can read the stuff through walls? There is an old magazine article from a publica publication called Nucleoid. Tucked in the top drawer. Added to my I added it to my database. Let's view that entry. Nucleoid article, encryption level three. Incredible technology from the independent labs harness time into energy. Scientists from the recently founded Gravitas facility have unveiled their first technology prototype and dubbed it the Temporal Bow, a device which manipulates the fourth dimension and generates infinite clean renewable energy. While it may sound like something from science fiction, facility founder Dr. Jacqueline Stern confirms it is very much real. Already been demonstrated that Newton's second law of motion can be violated by negative mass superfluids under correct lab conditions, she says. If the laws of motion can be bent and altered, why not the laws of thermodynamics? It was the main intent behind this project. The temporal bow works by rapidly vibrating sections of the fourth dimension to send quantities of mass forward and backward in time, generating massive amounts of energy with virtually no waste. The fantastic thing about using the fourth dimension as fuel, says Stern, is that it really categorically infinite. For those eagerly awaiting the prospect of human time travel, don't get your hopes up yet. The facility says that although we have successfully transported matter through time, the technology was expressly developed for the purpose of energy generation and is ill-equipped for human transportation. I mean, that sounds pretty serious. Pretty serious. Nothing here that I can have a look. Ooh, filing cabinet, what you got for me? It's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. Student at the Elion, Elion University of Science and Technology have held a unconventional party this weekend. While their peers may have been out till the wee hours wearing lampshades on their heads and drawing eyebrows on sleeping colleagues, students Jackie Stern and Olivia Broussard uh, spent the weekend in their dorm, refreshments and decorations ready, waiting for the arrivals of their guests of honour themselves. The prospect, the prospective STEM students who studied theoretical physics with a focus on workings of space-time, conducted the experiment under the assumption that they were... Uh, the assumption that... Were their theories about the malleability of space-time to ever come to fruition, their future selves could travel back in time to greet them at their party, proving the existence of time travel. They weren't inconsiderate of their future selves' busy schedules, though. Should the guests of honor be unable to attend, they were encouraged to send back a message using the code word HOURGLASS to communicate that, while they certainly would want it to come, they were simply unable. Sadly, no one RSVP'd or arrived at the party, but that did not dishearten Olivia or Jackie. As Olivia put it, it just means more stacks for us. I mean, that's a positive can-do attitude there. I am all about it. Look at these windows. Mmm, they're tasty, tasty. Uh, so does that mean I can't actually... Ooh, look, we can we can break them apart. The chandelier as well. No, I can't break that apart. There is some nice stuff here, but uh, really I'm not sure. Like, we've got some story. Great. I mean, it is kind of inconveniently placed, right? This, this looks like a perfect place for a solar platform. I do not know where this duplicate has come come from i haven't opened the uh, the printing arch i haven't clicked on anybody i haven't confirmed that this is the choice i wanted to make but i got a, 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 a i got a notification much like i am now 
that this duplicate was was being scolded and I was like but everyone's in environment suits I clicked on it here's here's my, my girl nails what are you doing here well I, I suppose welcome to the pay I think you're about to die though I mean I it wouldn't be wouldn't wouldn't really be morally just to uh, intervene in the in nature's way it, it, it's not the way it's not the way I wonder if dr Ca I mean like dr captain subs is right there he can save her I, that's probably what's gonna happen she's very slow though isn't she very very so I, I assume she's now on her way well to, to get her breath back but surely surely to the uh, to the the, the the hospital after that Let, let's come on down here I've pressed hate yeah it's still glowing it's still glowing I have no idea where this one's come from well we need a better name than nails where are you sleeping nails are you in this bed you are in this bed weird oh you, you're gonna die oh you're gonna die i i assume one of her friends is coming to get her it, it'll be someone around somewhere but this is a long way to go oh, we, we might not have known her as well as we would like to have done in the short time that has ha has passed that we've we've even known of her existence this is this is this is a little unfortunate i mean we, we Totally, totally would have used her as a zombie spores experiment. Hey, Mimi, are you, are you here to save? Yeah, you're here to save. Okay, cool. Uh, are you going to make... Are you going to make it in time? She looks like there might be a little bit of trouble there. That that little bar is so small. There is oxygen out here, though, right? Yes, there is oxygen here and a fireman's pole to whisk them away. Such a drama. Such excitement. Welcome to... Well, welcome, Nails. Well, we got some things to do before she makes her way back out of hospital. Then I need to get this atmospheric checkpoint. Uh, we need to make a copy of that. We need to make one of those. They're lead. Lead. Oh, no. I mean, they're all made out of lead. That's that's not what we... Ah, I'm out of copper. Okay, I, sp I suppose that's kind of acceptable then. We need to get this cha atmosphere checks checkpoint down. Uh, I'm going to do one of those, and I also I need I need I need to get the suit delivered. That that also needs to be a high priority. Hopefully, someone's made one of the three that I've asked for. No. Wow. I I, I don't know how we could get anybody over here immediately. No. <laughs> Okay, Miss Lion has made the deliveries whilst the doctor, the good doctor, Sir Captain Subs himself, tends to our newest intern. They're like, the, did she fall from the skies? Is she a stowaway? Has she come from one of the other asteroids to steal our secrets and take it back? God, Cubic sure has been a long way away. He's been running from the other side. I oh, was after iron. I think the majority of my iron is being stored down at the refinery. Okay, that's good. Are you not? Are you, are you not going to let's let's get someone let's get someone on there shall we okay the man himself decipher coming along to make the uh the atmospheric suit should be uh, fairly easy let's let's blast our way through this all, all we need to do is watch the uh the little orange bar go across the bottom there that that should be no problem uh, and then we need to try and get it delivered to the atmospheric checkpoint now is that going to be as easy as oh look we have another one here i wonder if we could drop this as well let's uh let's undock that suit as well uh and then ask for them to come over here to this one totally just gonna do that again Oh, the incubation rate is 99%. If we hold on a moment, we should see the miracle that is the birth of a shovel. And that should actually start immediately going around and eating some of this regolith. Unfortunately, it's not going to eat that much uh, until it grows up a, a little bit. But you can see that we're going to try and cool down all this machine using the power of steam. We've got a steam turbine up here. Uh, we need to spill a few, uh, a few bits of liquid. Let me get some dry wool here. I just realized that we're actually going to need to have something like this. And maybe... Maybe even a tile going up there. It doesn't need to be obsidian. Just hold a few uh, liquids so we can have some transfer between mediums there. But what am I going to do for the door here to contain the steam? If I don't do something to contain it, it will just all flow out towards space. Uh, down at the molecular forge for a little while now, I've been asking for this visco gel to be made. No one's really got around to it because as you can see, it's all like low priorities and stuff like that. Let's change that. Oh dear, Nails is on the team. Let me show you that we are at uh, medium speed, even at high speed. Uh, like, like Nails. Nails, really, this is... It's a bit of a problem here. 
Ah, I spent so long watching nails, I didn't uh, find the Volpop had, uh, had hatched here. That's a little bit unfortunate. As you can see, it is trying to dig its way out of here, but it can't go through the door and it can't go through the obsidian. So we should be safe. Now, just double checking that it's all obsidian. Uh, F4, in fact, yes. So not just me, but also eggshell. What, what am I getting here? Made a mess, jelly. Jelly, why are you making a mess, Brian? What, what's up with that? Wait, why is there a suit on the floor? What's up with that? Okay, there we go. We've got the molecular forge being in use by our boy, a jelly. He's uh, grabbed some oxalite as well on his way. He, di he didn't finish. What was up with that? Oh, man. Oh, power. Power is what was up with that. Oh, we, we got our first bowl. We've got our first bowl of visco gel. We're going to need a little bit more than this, though. Okay, Visco Gel turns to Napfa at 479 degrees. All right, we've got to worry about that. Uh, well, no, that, that, that's a good temperature. We can deal with that. Visco Gel solidifies at minus 30. That could happen around here. It's quite cold here. <laughs> Okay, so we've now got at least two bottles of Visco gel there. You can see there's 200. Let's come on up, come on up over to this bottle emptier over here. And I would like to empty out all the Visco gel on the floor. Like, super high priority. Let's, let's just do that. In fact, not that high priority. But still, this, this high priority. Why, why, why are the people from all the way down here doing it? I just, I never understand what the what the process of selection is. Okay, here we go. 200 kilograms have gone on the floor. Is it all gonna go in one pile? Is it all gonna go in one tile? There we go, it goes straight across. That's beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, this is the, the glory of Visco Gel. It fills up many tiles. It, it, it just, it sticks upon itself and will climb up high. Uh, it was Clyde's answer to liquid locks. They were like, here you go, here's a thing that actually does it. So now I've decided that I have unlocked the technology of liquid locks. Even even though we've already used it before. <coughs> Okay, with the steam turbine in place, I can finally make the decision to make this uh, a connection a permanent one. Well, no, it's not, go not going to be permanent, but I have made a connection here, and the water should be uh, flowing up from down below. Of course, we're running out of water. Why, why would we not have run out of water? How have we run out of water? Because somehow this wire got broken. I'm not sure what I did to cause that, though obviously I did cause that. Okay, wire fixed, the water stuck. What happened here? How did, how did this break? Okay, let's put that back together. I'm surprised that more water hasn't been used, though I have noticed that these guys down here are not being emptied. I think these guys might be some of the first that I... Well, I mean, I'm going to level with you. They're not the first. But I'm going to pop them up to higher pressure, higher priority, so hopefully Jelly or someone can come along and uh, empty them. It'll probably end up being Dr. Captain Subs. That's who it normally is. Okay, some water's flown just from that. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's see how much is actually coming through. It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. I'm not sure how much we want to drop. And also, why is there this weird... We got some Visco gel in there. Oh, no. No. That's supposed to be out of reach. It's not happening. Okay, well, hopefully it will just level itself out, especially when the heat kicks in. We definitely appear to be having some power issues at the moment. I'm wondering why. I think the coming of the day brings the full glory of a, a decently powered power system, but th even these guys are not... I mean, they're, they're called, called... They are drawing power right now. Oh dear, the reduced power is causing some big, big, big issues, and I'm not sure what we can do about it, to be honest. I'm gonna cut this overflow for the moment and uh, make, make these a priority indeed give these a little bit of storage hopefully the pressure coming in from here will also help that the yellow alerts up top they're, they're not the they're not the best to be fair let's uh, let's turn that down to a nine we don't need that we know it needs to be fixed it'll get fixed. Okay, that's definitely enough water. Let's cut that there. Another thing I want to do is turn this off of sweep only. And the moment this guy gets some power, he'll start moving this regolith, which is mighty hot, I might point out. Mighty, mighty hot. He's going to move it in here, and hopefully that will start boiling the water so the shove hole isn't being uh, drowned. It, the, trying, <laughs> trying to do this way, like, the, the whole power system fails over here. It's, uh, it's an interesting one. 
Okay, I've had to wrangle these little beauties up because this pneumatic door is made of copper and it's not hot enough. In here, it's not, sorry, resistant enough to the heat. In here, we have started turning the water into steam and you know that means that we need to be able to survive a much higher temperature than 100 degrees. No one seems to be coming to deal with it. Let's uh, just quickly turn that up. Oh, what else is having trouble over here? This robo miner down the end. Hello, how are you doing? I mean, it's very nice, but people will come along and fix you. Even though we've run out of steel, which does give us a little bit of a problem here about what we do with this pneumatic door. It really actually only leaves us with one other option. If we come down the end, a niobium door? I mean... Why not? Okay, the door's in place. This is good. I've turned the uh, the priority back up here. You can see Brum is coming along, but he's all the way down the bottom. But more importantly, I think it's time for us to actually flick this switch and let this uh, this auto sweeper do its magic. This is going to add uh, some more regular effort to this area here. It's going to share its heat with the area around, and hopefully the steam is going to reach up to high enough temperature that the steam turbine will start just turning over and providing a little bit of power for the system that it's connected to. I wonder what's pulling all the power. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell. So the system's now plugging away, moving all the hot regolith down here, warming up the steam ever so slightly, uh, and this is just going to be turning over. Along comes all the... What are you bagging him up for? And then deliver... Okay, cool. He had broken his bonds, that fine, but that's fine. People will come along and groom these guys. They'll make more babies. They'll eat the regolith for us, and they'll provide us with a load of meat and eggshells that go in through the system uh, and get taken down below... To the, to the remnants of the old base, we've got this line that's still being uh, built, it turns out, that is going to be filtered out from eggshells, and then down the end, the only thing left that will be, uh, only thing that will be left will be uh, meat, and of course, we want that to be grilled up into a barbecue. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much, a well, little bit of a start there, I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to sort out the power issue. There seems to be a bit of a weird power fluctuation going on where sometimes we have next to no power, but the rest of the times we are spiking up and causing power to the uh, damage to the grid. But I'll see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye!